Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Andre, and I'm here in the library at House by Town English. Our story for today is "Doors in the Air," written by David Wheel and illustrated by Pierre Pratt. Let's open the doors to your imagination with this incredible story. Doors in the Air, written by David Wheel and illustrated by Pierre Pratt. Read by Mr. Andre. My house has a roof to keep out the weather, and walls on the sides to hold it together. Windows for light, closets for clothes, a spooky old cellar where nobody goes. Three beds, one tub, some tables and chairs, and a small place for brooms tucked under the stairs. There are baskets and boxes, big bowls and books, and a long skinny mirror where Mom always looks. There's an attic for trunks, a porch with a mat, two hooks on the wall for my coat and my hat. There are bedrooms and halls, ceilings and floors, but what I like best in my house are the doors. There's a door at the front, a door at the back, and a door to my room. I keep open a crack. If it weren't for doors, without any doubt, I'd have to stay in or I'd have to stay out. I'd be trapped in one place, like a fish in a bowl, a bird in a cage, or a post in a hole. Stuck, stuck. That's what I'd be. Stuck in one place like a tamarack tree. But doors open wide to let me pass through, like rain down a spout or smoke up a flue. Doors, doors. That's all I know. Look for the doors wherever you go. Just close your eyes tight. And reach out your hand, then slip through a door to a faraway land. Doors in the darkness, doors in the deep, a door to your dreams when you drift off to sleep. The dream doors you open, so tall and so wide, are doors to the castle you have waiting inside. Doors are super surprising, splendiferous things, and when I pass through one, it's this that I sing: "Oh, sesame, sesame, east of me, west of me, sesame, sesame, snap!" You are, you see, the silver key to open up the lock. Oh, sesame, sesame, wrinkles and recipes, tickety tackety talk. Doors in the air, doors in the air. There's one over here, and one over there. So if you feel blue, in a sad, soggy space, imagine a door to a happier place. Fly off to the moon. It's not very far. Remember, you don't have to stay where you are. Oh, sesame, sesame, east of me. West of me, sesame, sesame, snap! You are indeed a silver key. So all you need to do is open a door to a shimmering shore, and go sailing right on through. The end. This has been a reading for House by Town English, read by Mr. Andre.